The new campaign says there are ways to change a world where one in eight people go to bed hungry every night. They want more aid to go to farmers, most of whom are women, measures to stop farmland in the developing world being sold off only to lie idle, and they want to persuade global companies to pay their share of tax to developing countries. Losses caused by hunger go beyond the personal tragedies. Malnourishment will hit production at a cost of £78 billion a year by 2030, according to the new campaign. They want to protect farmers by investing in agriculture, ensure that rich governments keep their aid promises, crack down on tax loopholes for global companies, and ensure openness so that people in developing countries can hold their governments to account. It won't make poverty history overnight. The campaign wants the profile of make poverty history, even though that did not achieve all its aims. We didn't make poverty history in 2005, but we did make big strides forward. We lifted millions out of poverty. We helped end children dying from things like diarrhoea. But the Achilles heel of that progress is hunger. And now we have a chance in our generation, we could be the first generation to end hunger forever. But in the global economic crisis, the hunger campaign will have a harder job persuading politicians and public this time round. David Loyne, BBC News.